Hi, John McCann from Stan James. Welcome to a preview of what promises to be a wonderful weekend of racing. I know we say that every week, but we've got full grade ones from Leopardstown on Sunday. And let's begin there. <clears throat> the big race is the Irish Hennessy, the Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup, won by um, Jadami. We, of course, we've seen plenty of uh, old VT with the retirement of Peter Beaumont in recent weeks, but it promises, it's not a vintage renewal, let's get it right, there's, um, there's no Dem uh, Neptune's Collange, I think won it last year, beat uh, Notre Père, Notre Père supported today, 5-1 to one into 4-1 to one for Notre Père, Jim Draper coming out and saying, not bullish perhaps, but optimistic noise, saying we're going to get a fitter animal than we saw in the Lexus, when he jumped beautifully, travelled well, but then was ultimately very, very disappointing, but cool down. The Sun Alliance chase winner of 2009 is the 13 to 8 favourite, 2 to 1 early in the week, 7 to 4, 6 to 4, out to 13 to 8 from 6 to 4 today. William Mullins was on at the races this morning. He was up to making optimistic noises, but suggesting maybe fitter again. I think he's, he could well be a spring horse as well. I think better ground suits cool down. I think this horse is vulnerable. Um, at the price, I think two, two, around two to one. I think that would be the price. It wouldn't surprise me if he goes off. That said, the 11th of all second favourite, John Collar can have that. He's a short runner. He, to me, does not quite get home over three miles. He travelled like the best horse in the Lexus, but was run out of it by both What a Friend and also by Money Tricks. And Money Tricks, of course, makes the <clears throat> uh, makes the trip across again for Nicky Richards. Nicky Richards was quite open. He said, this horse will go where Denman doesn't. He needs soft ground as well. He's a 7-2 to two shot. And then Notre Repair, Notre Repair full lengths beaten in this uh, race uh, full lengths last year by Neptune Clones. Arguably, you don't meet anything quite of that standard. And those noises from Draper, if I was swaying towards one, it would be not a beautiful jumper of fence. Remember, he fell on his seasonal reappearance at Down Royal. And then I thought it was quite a lame, um, uh, two lame performances of both Haydock when he was almost the, the, the bulled as this sort of Irish sort of hope against Denman. Well, he was really was put in his place very poor run on that occasion also in the Lexus Draper saying he will strip fitter he will be a much better horse at around about four to one I think the conditions may well suit him remember a previous a Welsh Grand National winner rather than cool down but cool down <clears throat> has been supported as well in the markets that we have at Stan James without Denman and Corto Star for the Gold Cup Dungweeb even money for the Supreme Novices can you imagine that when the roar goes up at the tapes on the first day of the festival this will be the one who's been back from I think the biggest price he's been is around about 13 to 8 since when he was so impressive in the, uh, the the festival bumper last year well he's, of course he's been absolutely imperious so far and all his hurdle starts he is 100 to 30 on for his with the Deloitte novice and uh, you can't you can't oppose him it's as simple as that I remember speaking to a jockey in the lead up to uh, to the bumper I didn't back him but in the lead up to the bumper last year and they said that the best bumper horse they'd sat on it was somebody to do with the Mullins yard the Mullins yard said that this Dunguib he couldn't believe it when he was talking to a, a jockey in mid race and he said I mean this is seen this idiot going up front and he said Said, should we chase him he said no nothing can go and he said it was really is uh, something a machine they think he will be the festival banker he's even money for the festival at the moment impossible they may go off around about four to five for that uh, if he is impressive on Sunday in his, uh, his festival prep race. The uh, Dr. Moriarty, Dr. PJ Moriarty, fascinating race this. We've got Weapons Amnesty 5 to 2, quarter title, given a wonderful ride by Russell last time, beaten by Pandorama. Pandorama probably looked a better horse from the Weapons Amnesty, of course, who won the Albert Bartlett over Timber at last year's festival. Taken, he didn't seem to really take to fences initially but was impressive at Newcastle on his penultimate start and then was second and he lost nothing in defeat but we got Roberta Goldbeck won over course and distance grade one last time I just don't think his form stacks up and of course then we got Zorito is seven to two it looks a three-way go between the three he fell too early to say how he's going that was in the Irish Arkle last time but that it really is a fascinating just quick Quick, some of the stars we will see in Britain over the weekend as well. With Punches Downs and Long Run, both uh, Punches Down doubly engaged. Probably go to the Troy Town of Weatherby, also in the Silly Isles, the old Silly Isles <clears throat> at Sandown. But Long Run's also in that. Fascinating to see uh, these horses. We've got some. Uh, Kalahari King as well, top weight for the Blue Square Handicap Chase. Love these two mile ch uh, chases. If you miss one out, you, you're struggling. Uh, it really does look a, a fascinating race, this. I must say, that a lot of these horses do want to be. If you, if you go to Doncaster, invariably you want sort of good ground horses. But the, the ground I've heard is on the soft side of good already, and it may well be that come post time it is soft ground. We've got Free World as 92 favourite 15. We've got the declarations in. This is the this one, Nichols and Ruby Walsh insist is capable of better. 
better one. I think he's got to show better form to win this. Wazo Dunni, 8 to 1, I can't have that. I'm singing a blue simile, 8 to 1, can't have that. Leo's lucky star lurking down the bottom for, for the pipe yard. I think that's got a, a very, very serious champ. Kalahari King also at 8 to 1. Pepsi Rock disappointed me on his seasonal appearance for Henderson. Andrew Tinkler takes the ride, both <clears throat> uh, McCoy and Geraghty going elsewhere. But that is a one of any number of fascinating horse races we've got. We've got so, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got Sandown, Weatherby, and also Sandown, Weatherby, and Doncaster on Saturday in Britain. But the big race, big race in the weekend, arguably, we want something to come out of the woodwork to have its threat to Team Nichols. We've got Corto Star, we've got the Great Dem, and is it just going to be a match? We probably will find out if it's just going to be Team Nichols against the rest, or is there going to be an Irish challenger? Can Big Zeb come back to his best form? Can Cool Dan overcome what may be a slight reservation about the Mullins Yard and also ground softer than ideal? But one thing's for sure, it'll be a fascinating weekend racing. Be lucky.